Hi and uh, welcome to Present Fatherhood. Uh, my name is uh, Jeff Dindi. So I take this opportunity to, if you haven't watched my channel, uh, I'm a father of two. This guy here is called Jasiri. And uh, we have uh, Jordan over there. He's somewhere there. He's one year of, uh, of age. So today I'm just, uh, I've decided to take a scan of my house and see which kind of hazards that does it have that can be a potential harm to my children. So first of all, I just want to take a look at, my, uh, at the compound and see the hazards that are there. And then from there on, we shall move into the house and uh, uh, identify some other more. So let's go and see. Uh, an hazard is basically something that has the potential to cause harm. Uh, anything or situation that has a potential to cause harm. So my, my first hazard, I think, is this, this compost pit here because our kids are playing within this compound and uh, there are high chances that they can interact with this dirt that can cause harm. And you, as you can see, uh, there is also a, a, a pit here, a pit latrine. There's also a pit latrine here. Uh, by itself it's not really a hazard but it becomes a hazard because people who use it they don't lock it you know and any child can just come and and play here you know they can come and play and in the process they might be harmed by that pit so this is another hazard so we have the pit uh, compost pit and then we have the pit latrine here this is a place that people pass and uh, this causes potential harm because somebody is likely to trip and fall from this stone. So it is a hazard. So the best thing to do is just to take it aside and put it somewhere. If you do that, then you've removed the hazard. And therefore, people are more safe. The children can play without you worrying that they are going to be harmed. I think another hazard that is in this compound are the cars. They are the cars that are normally parked here. Many people don't don't watch when they are starting their vehicles. You're supposed to do a round check, going around your vehicle to see is there any child that probably fell asleep while, while the car was parked. Because we've had incidences where people have run over their own children. And therefore to try and avoid this, please, I'll ask any parent out there, there that has a car. Me, I don't have a car, but if you have one, make sure that you have a, a round check, you know? Go around the car and, and, and check. See, 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 look at what I was talking about just some minutes ago. You know, the toilet is not locked and my child is just, you know, going there and something can happen. So, those are the hazards that are in the compound. And uh, let's, we ju we'll now move to the house and see more hazards that are in my house. We are now back to my house and uh, I'm wondering what kind of hazards I will find. So I'm um, just to give a quick a quick review. The hazards that I'm looking for are electrical hazard, uh, trip and fall hazard, you know, the, the things that are likely to trip someone. Uh, we are looking for falling object, that is an hazard. So uh, these are the th kind of things that my child can reach, reach for and pot potentially fall down over him. So come, let's see. So this is my little sitting room here. Believe me, I was in one that was worse. It was a one-room house and uh, it was too small. But uh, I'm thankful that God has uh, been able to bless me with uh, this one. So to begin with, this is a, a, a hazard. This is both a trip and fall hazard and uh, an ele electrical hazard. Why? Because my child can be drinking something and then they, they, they pour the, the tea or water 
on this uh, adapter and uh, the worst can happen another thing he could be walking and these wires can trip can trip him so the next video i'll be making i'll be making a video to just and try and correct these hazards like what i've done with this with this uh, wi-fi cable i know i tried doing something here as you can see uh, it's not the best but at least i was trying to do something it doesn't look very neat i'm still working on it <laughs> I, I I hope that it will look better than this. Uh, so this is this is one of the hazards, uh, electrical and the trip hazard. As I look around, uh, there are not really more hazards. That is one of the hazards. Let us go and see the kitchen and see what we have in the kitchen. So yeah, this is my kitchen. It's also not so big, but uh, it is enough. You're probably looking at it and maybe some of you have seen the hazards that are there. If you're watching, please go in the comment section and comment. What hazards are you seeing in my kitchen that probably I will not mention, okay? But one of the hazards that I'm seeing here, here I'm looking for, for trip and fall hazard, which I cannot see. I think my kitchen is quite, quite free-spaced. Uh, another hazard that I'm looking for is uh, falling object hazards. Of course, my son cannot reach up here, so... My thing, most of my things are way up, so that is good. Uh, here, there is nothing much that can cause harm. Um, we normally put fruits here, so because my child can come and reach for them and just get a fruit. But one thing that I'm, I'm worried about here, and uh, probably most of you people should be worried about, most of you people should be worried about is this cooker. You know, as you can see, my cooker is not raised, so. My child is already the height of this cooker, as you can see. And uh, it is very dangerous because something can be boiling on the cooker. And then he comes and, uh, you know, tries to reach for it. And uh, you never know the worst will happen. So this is my major hazard in my kitchen. And uh, uh, the next places probably are the bedrooms. And what I'm looking from for there is also electrical hazard. Uh, there are broken sockets and uh, things like that. So this is better bathroom because the, the floor is not tiled. The floor is the, normally the, 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 the most dangerous hazard, you know, because it is quite slippery. So if, 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 it, was, if it was like that, still the, 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 the pit is still a hazard. So the, the, the only thing that I can do is probably make sure that the door is always closed to reduce the hazard. Mm. Uh, this is my kids uh, uh, this is my kids bedroom so doesn't have much of any hazard you know uh, the socket is fine uh, as you can you can see the socket is quite good so it doesn't it is not loose or anything I had an incident last time uh, my son was electrocuted because one of the sockets in my bedroom was was loose and my wife kept on telling me, uh, repair this socket. The worst happened. You know, I was sitting in the sitting room and uh, I just heard a scream. And when I went there running, my kid had been electrocuted. So I felt really sad about that. And I've seen repaired it. So let's see if there is any other hazard in my room. This is the socket that I was talking about. It is still not very, very, very firm because I just improvised a way to try and tighten it because uh, it had broken from inside so it was this the screws were just spinning so I just yeah. tried and and, and, and and improvised but it is working so for now I have I have peace of mind that my son is safe and uh, yeah otherwise uh, the rest of the things are way up you know these things are things that you can't you can't uh, the, the, the kid cannot reach for uh, my room is more or less looks kind of disorganized a bit, but it's because I don't have a, I don't have a wardrobe. I hope to move to a house that has a wardrobe so that this all these things can be kept there. But uh, so far, this is what I have, and therefore I make do with it. Yeah, you've seen the tour of my house. Uh, probably there are hazards that you have identified that I didn't see. Please go to the comment section, comment, tell me which hazard you saw that I didn't see. 
maybe it may it will help me you know i'll read the comments and make sure that i implement those those comments any parent outside there please if you have a kid that is below five years of age just make sure that you proof your house do an audit every after every three months or as often as you can because these hazards they keep on coming and we need to do an audit every day of our houses to check to check them out so that is what i will urge every parent outside there otherwise subscribe to present fatherhood and uh, it is all about making fatherhood great bye bye from me and see you next time Thank <laughs> you.